Chemical leak in Rockford's southeast side. How long it took crews to contain it and how residents describe what they saw and smelled. As we head toward the weekend, I'm tracking chances for strong to possibly severe thunderstorms Friday evening. I'll tell you what to expect at my full forecast. Your evening news starts now. Working for you. This is the 23 News Update at 10. First, we heard from Illinois State Police. Now, Lamar Bell's mother, the family of the 33-year-old Rockford man, wants answers and clarity about what happened to her son. 23 News reporter Jake Pearson talks to Lynette Smith, who opens up about how her son died and why she believes he deserves justice from the way he was treated by state troopers. Smith tells me her son was a good guy, saying he went to church every Sunday and would throw a barbecue to feed kids in his neighborhood. Smith says Lamar was trying to change his life before his death took place. He was my baby. That was my youngest son. I lived for that boy and he lived for me. A mother grieves her son after watching him take his last breath in footage released by Illinois State Police Tuesday. Lynette Smith is seeking answers from state troopers who were present at the scene and didn't immediately call for an ambulance when Lamar Bell repeatedly asked for one on July 17th, the day that he died. It's heartbreaking. It is so heartbreaking for me to have to watch that video and watch my baby lay there like that. That is way more that you can do instead of leaving him handcuffed on the ground. Why y'all not gonna save me? Why y'all not gonna save me? Why y'all not gonna save me? Illinois State Police release a statement responding to Smith's concerns, saying Mr. Bell gave several conflicting answers as to his consumption of narcotics and twice stated he did not truly need an ambulance, which further delayed the determination that an ambulance was needed. Stop. I need an ambulance, Stop. please! Please, man. Please. Smith also claims that she wasn't contacted by state police about watching the released footage, saying she saw her son die the same day as the world. Seven people were here. Where are their body cams? Where are their dashboard cams? You're not showing us any of that. You're just showing us the one that you want us to see. You bleeped out the police cussing at him. You bleeped out all of that stuff. In response to that question posed by Smith about not seeing the video until Tuesday, Illinois State Police say, to be respectful, ISP made repeated attempts over several weeks to reach the family and give them the opportunity to view the video before it was publicly released. Thank you, Jake. And when asked if Smith will pursue an investigation into Bell's death, she said she will do whatever it takes to defend her son, even if she has to fight until her last breath.